Spangler. Okay. <laughs> well, good morning. Uh, I'm Ken Spangler. I'm the secretary and in the uh, uh, of the board of trustees. And in the absence of a chair or a vice chair, the secretary uh, uh, takes charge of the meeting. And so we will open this meeting of the board of trustees on. Uh, I'm going to have to look at my phone here to make sure I got the date right. April 16th at 8.31. Um, it's going. Okay, that's what he was saying on the back side. So can you just yeah. double check? We did. It worked. Look Good to hear. Let me know. So Thank you. I went ahead and opened the meeting at okay. Okay. 8.31. And uh, we'll call it to, to order here. We have a full quorum with... Uh, all of our new board members, uh, our pre, our existing board members, Kathy Adams, Ken Spangler, but they're the new board members are Tanya Howard, uh, Kimberly Foster, and Steve Stewart, and we welcome them. So our first item of business today is uh, swearing in, so that we can actually do the business of the county, uh, the county health department here, and so I'll turn this over to Paula Bromfield, uh, County Clerk for Christian County. Okay. I'm just going to do each of them individually. It will take five minutes, so let's see who we've got on top here. Kimberly Foster, we're going to do you. I'm going to have you stand up, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I, Kimberly Foster, I, Kimberly Foster do, solemnly swear do solemnly swear that I'll support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Missouri, the Constitution of the State of Missouri and that I will faithfully demean myself, well, faithfully what? Demean myself, demean myself in the office of the office of Board of Trustees Board of, of Trustees. Christian County Health Department. Christian County Health Department. I'm going to have you sign this so I can get a side of voice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I sound less so this there. is the last one. Okay. In the refrigerator. Um, I've got. I can maybe some of the bigger ones in the refrigerator. Let me give you this. I thought here. she might need that's some. Right. <laughs> my copy, and that's going to be yours. Okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. That's your job. Steve Stewart. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> I, Steve Stewart, I, Steve Stewart, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I'll support the Constitution of the United States, that I'll support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Missouri, and the Constitution of the State of Missouri, and that I'll faithfully demean myself, that I will faithfully demean myself, in the office of, in the office of, Board of Trustees, Board of Trustees, of the Christian County Health Department, of the Christian County Health Department. Yeah. Signature from you. Just yes. don't pronounce me man the watch. Sign here. Yes. Enter your copy and then sign my copy down. I'll take it with me since I made me a copy for my records. <laughs> So that is your copy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, all right. Next. Tanya. All right. I, Tanya Howard. I, Tanya Howard. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Missouri. And the Constitution of the State of Missouri. And that I will faithfully demean myself. And that I will faithfully demean myself. In the office of. In the office of. Board of Trustees. Board of Trustees. Of the Christian County Health Department. Of the Christian County Health Department. Okay. Need your signature too. Mm -hmm. So that one, and there, my copy, and that's going to be your certificate, your copy of your certificate. All right. Anything else for me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I want to go to work. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, it's nice to meet you.
Before we uh, go much further here, I would like to count the uh, citizens of Christian County to hear just a little bit. Please limit yourself to just a couple of minutes. What your particular expertise is that will benefit the, the Board of Trustees. And we'll start with Steve Stewart. Well, basically construction all my life. Uh, Dad put me on a dozer when I was 11. And before that, he had me doing the menial stuff. That's so much fun. So I've been in construction for over 50 years and farming and that kind of stuff. Deal with contracts and overseeing construction. Thank you, Barry. Thank you. Thank you. And Kathy, I, we already know you a bit, but please uh, tell us. I am Kathy Adams, and I am a registered nurse. I work for Missouri State University. I have a doctorate in public health. And, and you teach. And I teach in <laughs> Missouri State. I teach nursing. Thank you. Kimberly. Kim Foster. I retired here almost two years ago, you know, this month. Worked in public health for most of my life, either civilian or uh, in the military. So I've been civilian public health since 2007. So I recently retired two years ago. And your background is in public health. I have a master's degree in public health. But in environmental health. Environmental is your healing, yeah. Campuses. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Tanya? My name is Tanya Howard, and I worked in healthcare for 25 years as a mammographer in the radiology department. And I just have a lot of compassion for helping and taking care of people. I feel like I'll be a good fit. Thank you very much. Well, and I'm Ken Spangler. I, I'm a retired emergency physician. I uh, uh, also have a master's in public health. So we have a pretty good background here in, uh, in the field in which uh, is our endeavor right here. So, so anyway, um, with that being stated, we now have to enter into our elections. Uh, we need to elect uh, first a chairman so that the chair can then take, uh, take over the, the meeting and, and continue to uh, preside. And then we'll proceed to the, to the others. And so, do we have any nominations? If you would serve as chair, I would nominate you to be chairman. I would be pleased to. Is there any other nominations? Any other nominations for chairman? All right. Being no other nominations, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And all opposed? No. So we have a unanimous decision there, and I will take the chair of, uh, uh, of the meeting now. Um, the next one is vice chair. And so uh, do I have, have any nominations or do I have any volunteers to be vice chair? Okay, the vice chair will be the one who uh, uh, chairs the meetings in the absence of the uh, of the chairman and also who uh, has the responsibility for several of the ancillary duties of the uh, of the chairman including signing a lot of the uh, disbursements and things like that so any other nominations okay all righty so we have two nominations before us we have kathy adams and, and kimberly foster any other nominations? All right. Uh, in, the, in these elections here, the chairman ordinarily will not vote unless there is a tie. So just to let you know there. Uh, gosh. All in favor of Kathy Adams as, uh, the, as the vice chair? Okay, all opposed, <laughs> I guess. Um, then we'll move on to Kimberly Foster. All in favor of Kimberly Foster as uh, vice chair? Can I vote for myself? Yes, you may. <laughs> yeah, you didn't vote for yourself. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Yeah. So how, 
I would like to record that you did intend to vote for yourself. Correct. So it'd be, uh, you know, one vote for you and, and then for Kimberly, three votes. So Kimberly will take the seat of the, of the vice chair. And now the next one in line technically is the secretary. And secretary is, as this morning we saw, secretary uh, chairs the meeting in the absence of the, of the chair and the vice chair. Also, the secretary is responsible for uh, making sure that there is a uh, adequate recorded uh, minutes of each meeting and also does correspondence for it on behalf of the board. Uh, you know, these are duties that can be can be delegated. We have in the past delegated them to uh, a, a, a member of the staff of the health department and the secretary is then the overseer or oversees those meeting uh, those minutes and make sure that they're accurate. Uh, but then all the board will eventually vote on them at the, at the meeting. So I will ask for a nomination for for secretary or a volunteer. Could I say so? Uh, yes. Would you be willing to, Kathy? I. I, <laughs> I mean, but yeah. I, there's a proviso there. I know from being a school board secretary, it is hard to keep up with what's going on in the meeting if you've got to be inscribed. And I would prefer that we have a member of the staff be taking the meeting so whoever is the secretary could actually sit, pay attention yeah. to what's going on in the meeting. Yeah, so noted. <laughs> I know the shoes that need to be filled. <laughs> and they are huge. <laughs> Ken has done like an amazing job. I, I don't feel like I've ever filled the shoes. <laughs> well, look at them. They're not great. <laughs> well, would you I, if there was someone else that was taking notes, I would consider that. But okay. I just yeah, yeah just don't yeah. Okay. Yes. I want to say we have we, we already have kind of a template for how we've right. been doing minutes, and I think if that is transmitted to the staff member, that they'll probably look pretty much the same and just need a little window dressing yeah, I've, I've got that part i can do the editing part but yeah okay. it's just been amazing sounds <laughs> good okay all in favor uh, <laughs> okay. I, we only have one nomination <laughs> so. i'm sorry all in favor yes was <laughs> you even vote for yourself <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> you could vote against okay so we have a unanimous decision there uh, for secretary now the last one is treasurer uh, it's uh, really down to Steve and, and Tanya here, so I uh, will enter, entertain a... I would nominate Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to her up on the wall. <laughs> would you, are you willing to yes. do that? Okay. Uh, I will comment that Ron Nelson did a superb job. He has offered to be a consultant uh, without remuneration uh, to anybody who takes over the job of, of treasurer here. So I highly recommend that. I will reach out to him. Okay. And on top of that, Maples uh, Properties does our billing or our statements, uh, financial statements, and uh, I'm sure that they'll be of utmost help to either. <laughs> okay. Well, we have one nomination. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Okay. All in favor of Tanya for treasurer of the Christian County Health Department Board of Trustees? Aye. Uh, you vote for yourself. Are you voting for yourself? <laughs> okay. It's unanimous. All right. We now have our elected board here, and we have uh, business to attend to. Uh, the first thing on our agenda is an update from e uh, Easterly, Esterly, Snyder and Associates, our architect uh, firm, uh, regarding the remodeling of this building, I assume, and, and the other attendant issues. Please come on up and have a seat here.
All right. Well, Ken, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Obviously, we've been able to work together on this project for a while. So, and then congratulations to the rest of the board uh, that got newly elected. So, really, um, at the, the last board meeting, we had discussed kind of the best way to proceed with the project. Uh, the decision was made from the previous board uh, before you know the drawings. Uh, we were we were in the process of producing the construction documents and they're complete. Uh, I would say 95% is what we call it and that's just based on really getting some paperwork together so that we can put it out to bid. Uh, but the goal was to make sure that we didn't do that without the new board uh, having the opportunity to speak to what we're doing and make a decision to you know continue with the project. Um, the previous board elected to have us finish the drawings, have them ready to go, so we would be ready to proceed however you guys want to proceed. Um, I believe we sent the plans to Karen. I think they were distributed to the board. Um, now that's there's a lot of information in there. So um, you know, really, our next steps. There's multiple different ways of moving forward. One, we basically just need to decide uh, whether to proceed um, and how we want the board to interact with the with the plans. Uh, we can sit down with the board and go through page by page. Um, Karen and I will actually do that next week if the project is still moving forward one way or another just to make sure that we haven't missed anything, millwork, all those kind of things that we just double, triple check. So um, we don't have a meeting set just yet. We wanted to get through this meeting. Essentially, our goal would be is uh, if everything goes as I had planned it, is you guys are in charge, uh, we would meet with Karen next week then finish everything, decide on a day with the board on when we're going to put it out to bid, put out the advertisements, and then make sure that it, you know, it's available for plans after that. We do the plan distribution through our office, so we'll actually take care of all of that and you know make sure we have adequate bids and make sure we keep the board informed on whether you know we're getting enough people to bid and we can make informed decisions from there. Um, but, I don't know, are there any questions from the board as far as where we're at and what you need or want from me or I have not answered, I guess. I, on page 10 of the drawings, I have issues with no lobby being provided for the environmental. I receive complaints all the time. We receive on Friday <clears throat> that the installers are not liking going to the window in the heat, the cold, the rain, the snow, the sleet and everybody else gets to come inside to get they're frustrated because they don't have the same privileges as everybody else to come in to the building so i suggest to have a lobby for the environmental as well and also there's no way to get out if if there was a fire in the hallway the environmental health the offices in that corner how are they going to get out the environmental health has its own entrance exit out the back of the building. So okay, yeah, but so here's the come in, you go back here and there's an office. Mm -hmm. So if there's a fire here, there's no way they can get out over here. The one we can relook at the plans and make whatever changes that need to be made. So I just, okay. I, I don't want this to sound argumentative right. at all. Um, if, if, <clears throat> because I wasn't really expecting to discuss the floor plans necessarily. But if the opinion of the board is we need to make changes to the plans, we'll absolutely do that. Um, there is an entrance right at that door that uh, could be set up. We can adjust some things to make it so that that is they basically walk in and drop off. Uh, the intent of the project when we started was that the drive up window would allow them to be under cover and they don't have to get out of the vehicles. They don't have to walk down the hill because that I think was part of the complaints as well as they'd have to walk all the way down. So the, the intent of the project, you know, other than making some more room within the space, was to allow for undercover so they could just basically pull up and drop it off. Let me uh, just interject here that, that I, I think that we have um, a rather steep learning curve yes. for, for all the, the people who are new on the board, including those of us who've been around for a while and can't read uh, architectural drawings very well. What I would recommend is a couple of things. One is that all each of the trustees gets a tour of the facility here and later on Church Street and that I would like to appoint a subcommittee for building 
Uh, and uh, the two most likely people for that is going to be Steve Stewart and Kimberly. And those people can interface with you uh, with any future plans and they report back to the board. Is that acceptable? That's fine with me. Uh, I guess my question is the property over there. Uh, to me, it looks like it would be better to have the nursing, the fields, <coughs> immunizations, all that in this location and put the dirty boots over there at that location and then also use it for training, whatever. Now, I understand there's a, sounds like a steep cost to get it ready to do anything over there, but I'd like to look at that as well. Okay, well, the two of you can first, first please address the uh, Brick Street building, that, that's what we, uh, we stalled on this in the past because yep. of various things. But uh, after you've addressed that, uh, let's then go to the Brick, uh, Church Street building. Which, I apologize, you see my magnifying glass. It's oh, hard I, to really get a good feel off of these I, smaller sheets. I also use a magnifying glass. But could, if we would move environmental over there, could this be repurposed for nursing, that kind of stuff? Uh, the, the question would be the need. I mean, if we're going, that particular addition yeah. um, was added with the purpose of it being, you know, a drive-through for uh, environmental. Mm -hmm. So the, the parking lot and those things were basically set up so we could have a one-way drive-through. Mm -hmm. So it was, it, and, and again, this is paper. Paper is inexpensive to change, um, but I mean, at this point, anything can happen. That's really why we made the decision, you know, not to move forward with us being so close to the board change. Um, I would say if we wanted, if there was still the intent for an addition to be something other than environmental, mm -hmm. then we would probably want to look at what it would, how it was accessed and how, the, you know, the space worked to make sure it worked for the workflow. If it was included for nursing, it's kind of a weird back corridor. It makes it a little bit difficult to get to. Yeah. Uh, well, or just anything. Uh, well, why don't we give you guys some time to actually look into this and actually to get the tour? Yeah, I, I would like to see the facilities yeah. uh, because it, it helps. Well, we please let's uh, um, should, go ahead, Ken. Should we call a, a special meeting? Uh, you know, a couple of weeks give the a chance to tour and get some ideas and then we can so that we're not a whole month out before we discuss it again with Easter. Yeah, and, and I can call a, a, as chairman, I can call a, a special meeting with three days notice as long as uh, you guys are agreeable to that. So uh, if we the first thing, I guess, is to get get the tour. <laughs> So we know what the inside of this place looks like. And I realize there's a a wish to get moving forward on this, and it has been delayed a little bit until seeing what how the new board makeup is going to be. But I've seen things in the past where, in an effort to get rolling on something, year down the road, oh, I wish we'd have known that, or I wish, you know, sure we'd changed our mind before. So let's make sure we're going as we go forward. We're going forward in a direction with a plan and a purpose to long run. Now, if I recall correctly, is that training online at remotely or is it here? It's remote from your home. Darn. I was going to say, if it was here, I could say we could get our tour that same day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's up to you. I mean, you could make it here if you like. What do you guys think? Um, the, That's the what, 23rd? 20, 20, 23rd, yeah. Next Tuesday. It starts at 5.30, so it'll last till 7, so you can do it before or after. So, well, what I was wondering is, you know, would we want to show up here at 4, 4 o'clock or 4.30, do the tour, and then sit down and, and watch the, uh, the training here? That would be good, because I'm going to have to do it over a phone. I don't have Zoom and all this I'm sure we're done. Okay, is everybody in, in agreement with that then? On the yes. 23rd? Yes. Okay. Uh, but I will be out of town. Okay. Yeah. We used to bend the deal. But you, you, 
Yeah, I think we've done that training. Uh huh. So, and you've toured the facility. Too. Yeah. <laughs> they, so. they do ask that the um, current board members serve the ones returning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to reschedule for another time. Are you? Uh, I mean, you can do it remotely <laughs> if you if you have the time. Yeah, I'd have to do it on my phone if I if I could do it that way. You can. We'll see, but I'll I'll see what I can. Okay. If I can sign into that. Then on the 23rd, we will convene here for a tour at 4.30 uh, and then continue on with uh, the uh, video training in this room. Okay. All righty. Uh, I'm sorry, did you have more? Um, no, I just wanted to make sure that just kind of I, I leave the board with the, you know, we're willing to however the board wants to proceed. If we need to make changes, we'll make changes. If you need additional information from us, we're happy to provide that. Um, the, the original budget was put together in 2000, at the end of 2022. The project was about 1.1 million, um, a little bit over. I think from then until now, we probably increased about 10%. So it's probably closer to 1.2 million uh, for the addition. That's not the, we had updated the budget for what was kind of discussed on the property across the street as well. So those are the just kind of where we're at. I think timing wise, I agree with Steve, you, you know, you guys need to be comfortable with what we're doing moving forward uh, because you're the one that's going to be answering to the public when we, you know, this thing is under construction. Um, so we can take the time it needs to make sure it's right. The we're in a time frame where if we're heading into spring, we want to be able to, it takes about 30 days to get a job bid. Uh, so from the day that we say move forward, there's another 30 days um, in order to get the pricing, the bids, advertising, and all that stuff to work out, and then start construction. And even though it seems like we're running into summer, we're going to run into fall really quickly. Uh, so it's really just a matter of there's time to make these decisions, but we want to make sure we're getting in the ground and getting that work done if we want to proceed with anything that's kind of ground up before we start heading into, you know, into the fall weather where it starts raining again and those things, summer's a good time to start construction right after spring. And that, that will be the most cost effective time for us to move forward. I understand. I hate startup times in November. November, December, tough. Yeah. Yeah. And you never know in Missouri. Sometimes you can build right through winter. Sometimes you can't build the day in December. But with that schedule, it should be, I would think, dried in by the time Yes, if we're able to start in the summer, I think so. Yeah, I think you'd have plenty of time. I think the board does need to consider the extra cost that's going to come with the roof on this building too, because it'll need to be done at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that uh, that for your information, the the roof needs attention as well, and uh, so we were going to we were delaying addressing that until after we decided on the. Uh, new construction and the remodeling. Uh, so those are actually, they're, they are separate, but <coughs> there's a hope that they could be combined. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll need to continue to keep that in mind here as we go forward. We can provide, um, it's not within our scope now, but we we can we can help you with the same as we help with the floor. We can, we can help with that. Um, mm -hmm. If timing works, we can make it part of the project if need be. Uh, we've done millions of square foot of roofing replacement drawings for Springfield schools, MSU, uh, Ozark schools. I think we've helped them on every roof they've got. I've been on most of them. So if you need us to do that, we're happy to make that happen. Thank you. Yeah. And I, I had one other question that was, have we uh, settled the issue with the neighbor? No, um, not a hundred percent because the city has done, they keep it. They told Karen something different than they told me. So last time I was here, I went straight over there and talked to him. Uh, I'll probably just do that again. And they just need to go over there and get permission from her to test. So the, the you, I think you were at the last meeting, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe heard the issue is, is the neighbor uh, thinks that she has a septic system within the, more than likely when it was built extends on to this to the property in the back of the health department um, the city has 
assumes or has record that when they put in the sewer line in front of her house that, that she was required to connect. Um, and she's paying a sewer bill for that connection. So it's more of, we just need to have that tested. Um, we can have that resolved before the next meeting. I'll find a way to make sure that happens. So it's kind of, it's a simple thing. They told Karen something completely different that they had to go way downstream to check something. They told me they could do it with a camera. So we just need to. Uh, you should take care of it. It's not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. It's not that hard. Just go over there. We run down. cameras down the line all the time. Yeah. They need permission from her because they technically, it's on her property. Uh, so, and she's been more than pleasant to deal with. She's had no issue whatsoever. Is, is there a clean out beside her house anymore? Not that we can see. Okay. And it's also that simple. Is there a clean out on our property? Mm -hmm. um, I, we still, I, even I have to have permission to just go wander yeah. in our yard. Yeah. And, you know. uh, when you drive down the street, there's a manhole right, right in the right of way for sewer. So I can't imagine why it's not connected. You would think so. Yeah. It's a simple problem. We'll take care of it and I'll make sure we have it. Well, we've got, we've got a little time here because of the tour and because yeah. of the learning curve. Yeah. So, and if we need to sit down, maybe a simpler solution than going through the entire set of drawings, I don't know if I'm available on the day of the tour. Um, I can try to be where we just, I can print off the floor plan as big as humanly possible. And we can just sit down and discuss the, the workflow and the plan for the project and that, not necessarily all of the construction drawings. Because uh, that's, that's, if anyone wants to you, sit through you that. You are thorough. I will. It'll Give take. That. There's a lot of typicals in there. There's a lot. Of, it would take hours to go through. Yeah, page, so. page ten specifically. <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember which one. Page uh, ten, but thanks. I just my didn't, copier didn't, didn't copy off, but the one basically worked. The floor plan, yeah. yeah. So that would be what we would do is bring that drawing simplified with just the floor plan and the furniture, so you can see how the space works, and then we can yeah. talk. Through it. Uh, and that, if I will, I wrote down this twenty third. Uh, yeah, and if, if if uh, if that works out, I'll have to look at my calendar, and I can just be here at the same time, and we can just kind of lay it out there, and at least give you guys the update on, explain what was decided. Uh, I assume you'll be there because a lot of it had to do with environmental and things that they were needing, uh, and then providing the environmental space allowed for additional nursing space within yeah. the building. We move those guys out. So you said four thirty. Yes. Yes, on the twenty third. 4.30 to 7.30. And where would, where would the tour have, where in that portion would you want us available? Oh, at the beginning. At the beginning. At the beginning, at the beginning. Okay. because the, the uh, 5.30 to 7.30 is going to be video training. Okay. And that's why, even if it were later, we'll, we'll make it work. I want to make sure you guys are comfortable with what we're doing so we can either. Well, and, and send our subcommittee of Steve and, and Kimberly, if they want to come earlier or interface, interact with you yeah. earlier than that, that's okay. Yeah. To us. And I'll let Karen know that I'm over available. Um, and then she can let the board know. And I'll make sure I'll just see if, if I'm not available, if, if we can set up maybe meeting. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's possible with just you guys as well. We With my work, I'm pretty flexible. Okay. Um, I think if that's it, yes, she does need anything else from me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate your time. And uh, I will make sure that uh, you guys have my card. If there are any questions, usually everyone emails through Karen or any questions you guys have, the board usually gets to Karen and then gets to you. We'll work however you guys want us to. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Congratulations, Ken. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Looking forward to working with everybody. Thank you. And is there any scheduled public comment? No, I did not receive any. Okay. Uh, just for those who are watching at home, I'm sure there's a huge crowd. <clears throat> uh, Public comment uh, is uh, held at every meeting so that uh, members of the community can address issues, concerns, or even compliments uh, to the board so that we know uh, we have better connection with the people that elected us. Okay, next is secretary's report. Now I'm going to give that since I was the secretary at the time. Uh, the minutes were um, circulated and uh, I received no uh, 
the, mi the minutes for the March meeting and both the regular and closed sessions. Uh, and I received no uh, changes or corrections. Uh, let me see. And so uh, if somebody will make a motion, we can try and approve them. Kathy, second by Kimberly. All in favor of uh, receiving the minutes as, uh, as published? Yeah. Approving them, I guess. Okay. All opposed? It's unanimous. Thank you. Um, treasurer's report. Not sure what to do with this. <laughs> we have a number of financials that have come in. Our treasurer, our new treasurer, has not uh, had time to settle into the position. Do we want to address this uh, treasurer's report today, or do we want to uh, defer it to the next meeting for approval? For they say we defer it. Okay. Um, there were, well, I'm going to pass on that. Um, I'll, I've got, had a couple comments here I'm going to, okay. I'll give to you. Great. All righty. Well, uh, any, any other questions on the treasurer's report, even though we're not going to do it today? Okay. Uh, I guess technically we need a motion to defer that. Okay, we have Steve and then Kathy, uh, first and second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. All right, it's unanimous that we defer this to the, uh, let's see, what, to May meeting. So we're moving into the programs reports. Uh, Karen? Yeah, I can oh. say something first. Yeah. Um, we do have our audit report that we need to review as well. Okay. Send that out in an email and then everybody has their book copy of that. So that one's always due by April 1st. Uh -huh. um, do we need to? Do we need to act on this at this point? Um, it's up to the board. <laughs> yeah. Again, yeah. You might want to just take it and, and review it. And yeah. It I, I, what's the feeling of the board here? What do you want to do with the audit report? We do have to have to review it. Mm -hmm. When are we going to do it? It was due by April first. Well, no, yeah, it, it's the, not late in. the oh, audit is done. <laughs> no, no, I had to have it completed by oh, April yeah. 1st, and so that, that's it now. That's mm -hmm. our complete with review. Perfect. So let's just defer it. Okay. Kathy, next month. Kathy moves to defer it until the uh, May meeting. Uh, sound like Tanya seconded it. Yes. And <laughs> all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. It's uh, unanimous also. I also have signature pages for that section as well for our ISO payroll system. I need two board members. Okay. So preferably maybe the um, treasurer for sure. Correct. Um, there's a double signature line here. This is for the paycheck stubs. Um, so we have an ISO um, payroll system. And then when we run payroll, the two board members that have signed that, their, their um, signatures are on the paychecks. That's okay. good. Um, so uh, the, the double signature line, they ask that we do one signature on top and then the second person on the bottom and then do a second one just in case um, the first one isn't good. So they have a couple, kind of like taking a picture. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it makes I'm going to have you sign. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be happy to be the one to sign along with this unless you think somebody else should do it. Nobody has objected to that. And we also have the um, yeah. information Correct. so I can pass this around. Uh, my understanding that everybody um, that has an X right here and the this blank space will need to sign their name. And um, on the second page, we're going to need um, I mean, either Kathy or myself, so I would prefer Kathy do it as a board member, to uh, confirm that the individual signing on this front page. Um, that's their signature in this room. Does that make sense? And so with that yeah. front page, I'll pass this around. <laughs> okay. So you'll find your name right here. Yes. And then you'll sign it and uh -huh. then pass it on to Tanya and on around. 
And so, let's see. And there were Kathy the witnesses that? The, yeah, so you know what? Yeah, so they've got my signature on file already. Okay. Well, it, they did put two back on you. And so as I was reading this last night, it shows to you that like, the second page is a co-official, so you will sign as the official that everybody signed, and then because you're actually signing too, I will sign as a co-official, <laughs> saying that you all signed. But um, so there's the first page. I'll pass it around. If you'll just find your name and sign it. This is what you talked to Brian at the bank about. Yeah. Um, and then there's a the third page on this too. It looks like there's an area for you to sign um, in that area as well. And let's see. Let's see if there's an example here that has one of the official co official pages as well. So Kathy and I can sign those. And then we also have one for our safe deposit box over at the bank. And so everybody will be on it as well. And I will sign that one too. So we'll sign and date that one. Let me pass this around and then we'll see what we end up with at the end. How's that? <laughs> if I need to contact Brian at the bank, because I do have to turn that into him today. Goodness. I feel like I'm buying <coughs> a <new> house. <coughs> There's one in there to yeah. remove the other individuals, and I think. Kathy may be able to sign that one, the previous board members. Okay. Uh, I only noticed that one of them had a required a date on it. I believe that's correct. Asked for a date on it. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you. That was a safe deposit box. Sorry for the low meeting here, but while we're signing, I would like to go ahead, go ahead on into the program report so we can keep this moving. Uh, Karen? Um, I emailed these out, so Kim had asked for additional information on environmental health news, so you've got a larger um, stack of well, more information in your email, so I just need to know from the board members, do you want that every... Um, Every time that I send it out, or do you want what the previous board members wanted? Just a summary page, because the board don't need to decide. I like the details. So, <coughs> at least, at least calendars <coughs> of what what's been what's been happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't. Since we're doing this electronically, to me, it's it's. Uh, uh, it's just more reading. It doesn't doesn't matter. So the, the extra detail is it, it's good. I'll probably read over it and file it. But anybody other any other comments here about? Are are you saying you want a full detailed on every report from? Yes. Board? Another one like this. Yeah. Yes. Rich. Okay, yeah. In the future, let's go ahead and do the activity reports for the various programs. Okay, so you want us to print schedules for nursing? So, so it's not just environmental? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds, it's, sure. I, I've got an idea here that uh, I'll, I'll spring in a little bit here that, that may help this. Okay. Yeah, it's so looking at the... It is. It's a lot of work for them. So, Karen... Uh, 
So I'm the <laughs> on schedule for environmental errands. Name is still the email address. It gets the schedule gets sent to Aaron still. Aaron Aiken. I'm not certain what you're talking about. Up on top there. It says Megan, Jordan, and Aaron up there. Okay, so you just want me to remember? Is she not here? Is she still here? Her, her email address is not. Um, let me see. It's Gmail. Oops. I don't know. Yeah, let me. Uh, I don't. Double check that, I guess. <laughs> I didn't notice that. So, sure, I can remove that. Is that through Google? That's Google, yeah. And somehow my phone is still connected to the Google because sometimes I get calls. If someone's calling in a final, I'll get that phone call. So I don't know how I'm in there. Well, so since you know about that, I may have you work with us if you can come in to work with me to try to get that off there. I really appreciate that. So um, put your cell phone? Yeah. It comes through Google and then it comes to my cell phone. If that's, we have new staff. And so if they're not able to figure that out, let me, let me see. Um, maybe even when we come over on the 23rd, if they can figure it out by then, let's see if we can have you help us fix that. How's that? So we want to come a little bit earlier because I didn't put 30. <laughs> Just so we can figure that out. Um, And so looking at the inspections, <clears throat> there are several that has been seen, places that have been, have been seen. There's one that has been seen since 2022, Canton Buffet. Is Canton Buffet still in business? And Nixa? Yeah. Main um, well, they, they've got that little trailer now. Right, but they have been no. seen since 2022. Yeah, they just have a trailer. They don't have the... Not the building. Oh, well, the building is there. They don't. It's closed down. Okay. Closed down. So I'm just curious if they were still open. Yeah, it's been closed down for a while. They just have a okay. food truck. Okay. I'm trying to think of what it's called. And there was a lot that hadn't been seen since January of 23. So I was curious what what has changed. I know the staff has changed, but the frequency of inspections have they changed? Because usually it's four, three, two. Four for highs, three for me, two for lows. They have a schedule that they go. I, I can have the environmental department come to the next meeting if you like. Because honestly, I don't supervise <laughs> that department. And so I'm learning as well. Uh, if you would like, um, to, would you like to send your questions ahead of time? So that sure. I can help yeah. Them yeah. And also, I'm curious on how I think there needs to be. A clerk, full time clerk in there instead of flopping inspectors around and get them when you're hired as an inspector, you don't want to be at an inspector, you don't be at a desk all the time because it needs more continuity. Because I know when I, I did it here, there's communication that gets missed. You talked to somebody yesterday and another person's taking over today, they don't know if they don't write it down, record it. Then they miss it if they call. It's like, hey, I talked to you yesterday. It's like, no, it wasn't me yesterday. It was somebody else yesterday. So I think there needs to be a clerk in there to let the inspectors go out. My assessment of this, though, is that before we go posting a new position, we need an assessment of the need. And so, uh, and, and I think that's true in, in each of the programs. So um, let's go ahead and see what the other program reports have. Were there any other, uh, you know, glaring concerns on the on the environmental report? No, no, just no. Yeah. Well, as a former installer, back then there was different Kim that basically was the secretary for the environmental <clears throat> and it would if I was dealing with several different people it'd get confusing and I can see how ball would get dropped but if I just dealt with Kim Kim maybe uh, inspection uh, is whatever and it 
it flowed pretty well. So but, you're saying there was a secretary yes, in, your, yeah. in the old days? Yes. Uh, your days? I don't know if her job title was secretary, but she was a, more or less the coordinator of the, the inspectors. Mm -hmm. And I generally dealt with her until the inspector came out, and then I dealt with it. Okay, well, once we get a good handle on, on the workflow and the workload, now, you know, we can certainly address that. Mm -hmm. We do have the prerogative to recommend that there we uh, uh, mm -hmm. post a, a new position. So. I'd just like to recap. So, Ken, you're going to send me a list of questions for the next meeting. And then I'll have the environmental staff come in, somebody represent them to answer those questions. Well, also, would would Kimberly be able just to interface with the with the staff back there and 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 ask her questions directly of them? So we cut out the middleman. We can. I think it needs to be reported back to the board meeting. So oh yeah, she would, that, that would be her. Then, yeah, these are her concerns. She'll bring back the the report on, on the analysis of it. But yeah, again, you have to schedule a time to come in and meet with them and. Ask your questions? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm not I'm not doing anything that that's right. Correct. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. At this time, no. Okay, so Ken I move it. Okay, as far as um, my standpoint from the environmental report, um, there are approximately 30 food trucks that were on our list um, that we have not been able to locate by mail, by phone, um, through social media looking for. So we, um, our understanding is maybe those have not, uh, they're no longer in existence. And so I don't know at what point we want to try to take them off of that list. I would say if they weren't in existence last year and they're still in there this year, and we still haven't found any trace of them, we haven't seen them in the community, do phone, um, mail, or um, social media, then they probably just need to come off the list. But our staff is out in the community constantly, and they know to look for various food trucks. And so if we notice one that's not on our list, um, we stop and we educate them, and then we let them know they can't um, mm -hmm. continue to serve yeah. until they come in. And so, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're doing really good, because I think there are about 240 or 50 permits that were sent out. So if we're down to 30, that probably don't even exist anymore. I think we're doing really good. So you're saying out of 270 some odd, uh, the majority are, I mean, not 240 mm -hmm. are- Correct, they've already paid. They've, they've updated the and everything, okay. Yes. So there's none in the in the mill? There's, there's no more that have to be permitted? Uh, my understanding, no, and I checked yesterday, they said that um, it was mainly the food trucks that were the- Okay. The, High turnover that came after the pandemic. Everybody thought they were going to make a lot of money by these food trucks. Not happening. <laughs> um, second thing was uh, we had a previous water complaint submitted by Kathy Lozano, Highland Bill, and that actually got resolved about two weeks ago because we did um, go out and we did a final inspection on a new septic system at the rental property that the complaint was issued for. So I think that's finally been resolved. <laughs> uh, lots of paperwork, but we got. Uh, and then I want to mention that there was a positive comment or feedback card that we received probably two weeks ago, maybe in three now, for our environmental department. And it was from a manufacturer of a gravelless wastewater system. Um, he came and met with our staff and did some education with them. And so he was very impressed. I think I sent that out in an email. It was kind of hard to read the writing. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, it stated that they were doing a great job, um, that they were friendly. Um, before they felt like they weren't treated very nice. It sounded like it was several years ago. <laughs> so anyway, they were gonna spread the word and let them know that we're doing a great job and that they can come back and work with us because we're here to listen and, and work with them. Yeah, so that's a nice comment. Um, okay, that's all I have in environmental. Anything else? No, okay. For nursing, uh, I did ask the nurses to add a column for the newest um, latent TB and active TB cases each month. and. Currently, the report only reflects, reflects the um, current number of TB active and latent cases. And so whenever I asked them, I was like, can you please give me something that shows how many you've got? Because it looks like they maybe have like 20 some cases. They potentially do. Um, actually, 
they have TVs um, for they have 24 now, but they didn't get all 24 in March. So I said, can we clarify that a little bit? Because that looks mm -hmm. like it's being scooted just a bit. So looks those like are older epidemic. cases. That, <laughs> right. Looks like an epidemic. It is, yeah, <laughs> but it's not. So anyway, it's like they might get two or three in, but what we're still trying to do is close those older cases out. I think some of our nursing staff have been going a little bit above and beyond what they really should be doing for their job expectations um, for those cases. So they really just need to get in there and focus on getting those closed out. If the individuals for latent TB do not want to take TB medications, we don't force them to do that. And so at that point, we just make notification that we've contacted them, we've provided the education, and then they should be closed out. But we're still getting set on the nursing side. We've again, had some new staff throughout the board. And um, it, it's a learning curve for everybody, but they're on the right page, I think. For our clerical. Uh, I've got a concern about nursing given the last several months in which we've been dealing with issues with them. And uh, it, I'm, I'm of the opinion that we need to actually advertise for a supervisory level I agree. RN. Someone who can take the helm, has the experience, and is not going to let some of this, uh, some of this stuff slide. So I looked for supervisor qualities, but here's the deal. Even with nursing um, the applicants that I got, I've only got two. I interviewed one last week, and I interviewed one this week. I'm still not sure that they're good. But some of them have had supervisor experience. Mm -hmm but it's really not the supervisor experience that we need here. It's, do we have a head nurse here? We do not, I have not had a good option to put in that position. So I'm actually still the supervisor there and I am a nurse. And so- How many full-time nurses do we have? We have two, but one of them's only been here um, since January. So a couple months, the other one's been here a little over two years. We have two full-time nurses now? Yeah, Shelby and Carissa are both full-time nurses. Okay. Yeah, she'll be showing good potential. Um, she shows up and focuses on her job and very motivated to get things done. So I think in time, but right now, I can't put anybody in a supervisor position that's not off probation yet and has not really shown everything that they can do. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah we, Right. We found that happen with the building. <laughs> so, you so. know, that they get overwhelmed when they find, they discover that. So, okay, yeah. uh, well, I, I think there should be a strong emphasis, though, on I finding a supervisor. <laughs> I don't know where else to advertise. We've had it on Handshake in the past. Um, I've got it in Indeed right now. We've got our website. We've got it on Facebook. I don't know where else to look, but I just don't get a lot of applicants for nurses. Do we, now, have we ever advertised for specifically someone with a BS or more in a BS? Yes, sir. And, no, I mean in uh, public health. They, they, have, a, they have a master's in public health. Yeah, but they the bachelor's would not go. But they couldn't do the nursing job. Right. Yeah, if it was just in public health, it wouldn't be in. No, no, I'm saying a, a nurse with an M, uh, MPH. Uh, you know, have, have we ever? We haven't. We'd have to increase the pay, obviously. Yeah. But I mean, we'd have to develop a new job description for that. But I wouldn't be opposed to it. Yeah, that would no. be a, a person <laughs> who might have the already organizational skills in order to be a supervisor. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, could you uh, float that idea and, mm -hmm. and see what... Uh, I can work with all seekers and learning yeah, to see, see like a job description with the pay scale and, and see if any, I think it's worth trying. See if we have any nibbles. I do think that when we were when we were doing, I, I hear from the student perspective, the students that I have had come through have reported back an interest in going into public health. I think the students that I have now are already RNs, and it, it gives them that exposure. So I think it's something that we should look at again is doing more of that where they get they kind of have a, a brief internship and you can see and yeah. it also shows them what 
you have to have stamp traits of that. You know, get a good experience. They don't want right. to come here and work. So that's right. been a hindrance because people don't stay. Right. <laughs> and so training them. And then and that's that the overwhelming them with students, too, is kind of a fine line. But isn't the internship already on our agenda here? That's different. Oh, it, it is, is different. Yeah, okay. Different. Yeah. So I do have a nursing student, and it's a lady from Chamberlain College of Nursing, and she's working on her doctorate in nursing. So she's wanting to come here, but it won't be until January. But she's not really going to be focusing on the nursing department. She wants to do a postpartum depression screening form um, or tool for the new moms that are on the WIP program. And so I'll be working with her because she's down a doctor in nursing as her mentor. And so I'll work with her. But again, she's not coming until January. But maybe individuals like that, if we could bring them in and they could see that, you know, this is what we do and kind of get them on the nursing side as well, but let them do their internship here. So that is my plan for yeah. that person. Yeah. <laughs> so I, and I do have, I have another one that I was going to talk to you about today, but just these, and they only do 24 hours. But it's it has they've all shown an interest after, and I get really good reports back. So, but they never come here. Yeah. <laughs> well, the last, the last one we didn't have. have yeah, we didn't have an opening, and she was. Yeah. Um, she worked really well with everyone. So. Yeah. Is there a way for me to post the nursing job at Missouri State? Yeah, yeah. Missouri State. Yeah, yeah. we do. Yeah. You send an um, an email with it, and I'll just. I'll send it out to all students. Oh, good. Okay. And so I'm the director of the RN to BSN program, and they are, um, we have 156 right now. So wow. That's, that's good. We can we give them, yeah, maybe an incentive. And they are all too. over the place. Yeah. But there's, a, there's quite a few here. First, I just had a nursing student. I say it was a nursing student, I don't think it was actually. She was doing some sort of exercise program. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Exercise program. Yeah, <laughs> through Missouri State. Because I remember her. Yeah, I think that was it. Because she came through and said, she was asking all kinds of questions. And Krista was taking her on a tour. Um, but I know she mentioned she wasn't a nurse, but she was doing something else. Because I thought, well, that's weird. How come we took a non nursing student? She from <laughs> exercise physiology or something like that. <laughs> I think that's what she said. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, I agree. I can reach out to all the acres in the running and see if they'll please, please give us a. Yeah, uh, please do. We've got to get some some help here. <laughs> all right. Any other questions for nursing? Good help. Okay. <laughs> for clerical, uh, good help. Okay. Yes. Rita was previously doing her reports, but she's actually retiring. I think next. Well, retiring. I think she's leaving us anyway. Um, next Monday. So Callie has um, tried to take over some of those clerical reports for us because we have a new Cure MD electronic health record system. And so we're trying to run those reports off of that information that's already put in the system instead of, we were old school until about last month, <laughs> trying to calculate our numbers uh, based off of our old school system for appointments. But now that we have an electronic health record system, we're trying to use, those reports should come pretty easy on our backside now. Uh, but again, we have a lot to learn with that part. So last month, we did not have reports for February or March, or actually for February. So we brought February's and March um, today. So I did um, email those out to the board members. Was so there any questions? Does this format for the two that were here last month, does this look better than what we did have? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, if you want something different in the format, just let us know. Kelly does a great job with this. Uh, billing report. Okay, um, I put this together myself. I'm not creative, but you know what? I'm trying the best I can. <laughs> so it's kind of a quick look of what we've got um, contract-wise. And so, anytime somebody leaves, if I can pick up the job duties for a while until we get people come um, trained and, and hired, then I try my best. So I've got all of the billing caught up at this point, except for WIC. Um, but I was again left with lots of billing. Um, Tim uh, was here whenever we were working on COAG, and so you're going to be proud. Last month, very last day, I billed $121,000 to COAG. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and so as you know, that contract was a mess. Um, uh, there was maybe $700 billed out of the $121,000, and that was a five-year contract. It was a nightmare for me to go back through to 
full records to make sure things weren't charged to other contracts. And I think I got it. <laughs> so everything's up, up to date right now. I mean, that's everything what it looked like. Everything but what, yeah. And okay. so again, our billing person was here, left unexpectedly, just like most others do. Um, and so WIC is kind of a beast to, to bill. And so I do have access to that. I've been in contact with them this week, and I told them I'm going to try to work out at the end of this week and next week. But I still have James and Marge to catch up on there. So again, it's kind of like our co I contract. It's a matter of making sure that you've got the documents that you need if you get audited. So again, if we get audited, me and you are going to spend a lot of time with the auditor because <laughs> uh, the stuff that I had to bill or that I billed were things that I saw your initials on that you did approve for that. So. I think we did okay, um, but we'll, time will tell. Yep. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, so that contract is over, the, the co crisis co act. It does not have any money left in it. I feel never bit of it. Um, the FEP contract, that one, again, I got caught up. There's not a whole lot left, like just a little over $12,000 left in that one, and that one will end on June the 30th. Um, I'll probably move, be moving some money around in that for salaries um, because I've spent almost all the salaries in that. So we can buy supplies with it, but again, it kind of depends on what those supplies are. I'm going to defer to Kim because she's the expert at FEP as well. Um, <laughs> did you do FEP at Tampa yes. County too? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I again have tried to pick up these things as people have left them and or left the building, and so I've tried to carry them along as, as best that I can until I can hire new staff to take those job responsibilities. But again, I get somebody in those positions and they leave, and then I hear it back. Well, you got you got her for four years. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so I think Kim, Kim will be it's a, a great um, asset to us as far as figuring out what to do with the rest of that money. Um, obviously, we know we don't want to spend a lot of money in supplies because what happened in the past is supplies got put across the street and now we're trying to get rid of them. <laughs> and so we don't want that. So again, if I can spend that more in salaries, that's my wish. So FEP, I can bill at the moment. Um, the nurse's time for cumulative disease investigation. So that's where the majority of uh, that contracts went for this contract year. And then sending individuals for training so that we can do emergency response in the community. So again, that goes back to salaries or any travel. It could be lodging if they go to a meeting that's out of the area. Have they been, has anybody been going to the emergency management meetings at all? Um, we go to the ones that we're invited to. And so there's a Co-ad, C-O-A-D, over there. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to have had one yesterday, and it got canceled. Oh. It's not today. It's today, Tuesday. It was today. Yeah. And they canceled it. So the next one's going until July. But we went to the one previous to that. I think those are quarterly. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then we're working with emergency management, too, on our environmental, just our environmental side. Um, because they have a new program where anybody wants to do a temporary permit in the community they have to apply i guess with the county commission and then um, the emergency response director phil he is i guess the overseer of those temporary events and then he sends us information and we have to sign off on whether or not the health department um, is okay with that event as well so we do work with them to some extent our contract that one is just an ongoing monthly thing that one's not hard to build that just pays for a lot of things that the other contracts do not, but there's not a lot of paperwork involved with that. So it pays for, like, if we don't have funding in the health department's general funds to pay for, like, electric and heating and stuff like that, it pays for a portion of that. Um, it also would pay for the communicable disease investigations for the nurses. It pays for some of our environmental health salaries as well. So we usually get... Um, Close to eleven thousand dollars a month is just under that for that contract. And then maternal child health, um, that one, you know, I didn't you know, think unless I either I either printed the wrong um, one or I didn't write it down. But we don't have a whole lot left in that contract either. But that one we use. Um, there's a sixty percent of that one and a forty percent forty percent spent on suicide prevention or mental health for our community, and then this 40% uh, is actually for maternal child health. So we buy things like diaper bags, wipes, um, 
things for moms that we hand out even through our WIC department. So that's what that's been for. So it's we buy supplies, but we also hand them out and give them to the community. Now, does that get billed back to WIC then? No, it, it, it gets billed back to the MCH program. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it kind of works um, together with it. The MCH pays for it, but we actually give it to WIC clients. So it's not, we're not like double dipping there because WIC's still getting their salaries. It's being allocated to the WIC program, but then whoever's putting together like the MCH bags, the diaper bags and stuff, that's built to MCH. So there's a fine line that I'll keep those. <laughs> um, and then any meetings, so like suicide prevention trainings, um, outreach that we do, we can build that time from MCH back to that contract as well. CCHC, that's the one where we go out to the daycares and our preschools. We have um, two part-time nurses that work that for us. And so that one's billed quarterly. And um, I just billed that one. It's, it just got updated as the end of March. So that one, we've only got $3,700 left to spend. And that one does not end until September 30th. So that one won't last too long. But that one, we um, pay a lot of salaries to go out and do education in the preschools, whether it be the educators or the daycare providers it could be even the kids or sometimes even the parents and so we're doing some like reading books on emotions and sometimes we um, go out and do like hand washing things to teach kids how to wash hands we're doing um, dental health to so teach them bas brush. basically yeah. though everything's up to date it is so, um, infrastructure that was our newest one so that one's paying the salaries for our new positions which would be marketing billing all of our new nurses, or the one new nurse, um, I can actually add the, if we are hiring the third full-time nurse, I can add that on there too and pay their salary until this money's gone, but we've got about $252,000. And that just was implemented two months ago. Yeah, it was available before that, but we just didn't really have those positions available, so we never built it. Right, it's approved in October. Yeah, yeah, so we actually started, once we started hiring the individuals and getting set with the rest of the contracts, we started billing on that, but that one won't last the entire five years. It should go to 2027, but it's not going to last that long, as long as we're hiring new people. We will, we will manage. We will manage it. Yeah, so I said, I think we're in pretty good shape. Vicki and I have started picking up the billing stuff again, and we work really close with Maples Properties, so... Um, I still have mixed feelings on do we really need somebody full time, and we can discuss hopefully in the closed session uh, my thoughts as far as what I think we might need to do for billing. <laughs> um, but I don't know that we really need somebody full time, and especially depending on what the board wants to do with these contracts moving forward. If you don't wish to move forward with some of them, then that's really going to decrease the job duties for the person that's doing the billing anyway um, for contracts because. This billing position is called contracted billing specialist. And so the majority of their job is this. But again, if, if we don't move forward or like prices go ahead, has gone now, um, once infrastructure is gone, those contracts are going to dwindle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did we get a copy of that, Yeah, yeah. I emailed it, this you got, it was emailed. You got it just last night, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I worked on it all night. Oh. I've been working a lot of hours. <laughs> I, I didn't know what she was going off of either. Time, but I, I was like at 5 30 last night. It was, oh. yeah. I said, no more attachments. <laughs> yes. oh. yeah, I've been busy. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that can was we move into marketing then? Yeah, um, and that report was sent out as well. Connor's doing a great job. Um, I don't have anything to add there. Does anybody have any questions on what he submitted to us? He's been, he's been quite the asset yes, he to, has to the health department here. Yeah, and everybody got to meet him as he was coming. Great. So, <laughs> yeah, he's very good. <laughs> very nice. Um, we are our WIC report too. So Kim had asked for the five-year participant count. So that's not something that I normally add, but it, it, I think it was great to see. So it's like <clears throat> to all the board members to review. So are there any questions on that? Yeah. Uh, just one of the... Uh, this is on Chelsea's resignation. Yes. And I think she, she marked March 3rd. She said March yes. 3rd. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I know. You know, that made me wonder after I read that. It's like, what you think of? She gone? <laughs> so it's actually May 3rd? It is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so she's still here, but yes, um, she resubmitted that. Did I send it the wrong one? 
It says, it said March. It says March. March. Yeah. Well, the first one said March, and then I, I re realized I want to get rescinded it again, and so she redid it and said May 3rd. Yeah, so oh, I, I, saw that. I didn't see that either. I think I resubmitted that one to all board members, even the previous one. So it, it, was it the one yesterday? Yeah. Okay, then I must have submitted the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 none of she them has, said May. Okay, that, she is re, um, resigning as of Because I thought it was weird <laughs> that it was saying March, but yet mm -hmm. she was uh -oh. still here. Yeah. yeah, makes me wonder when that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we do have one nutritionist that is um, resigning, and so we have one nutritionist here uh, besides her, and then we have, I think this is Kim's question, um, who, who works in WIC? So I sent out the chain of command, too, for everybody. So we have two WIC certifiers, which one of those um, has announced her retirement in August, the end of August, so our previous board has given approval or permission for me to hire in that position. And so I actually have somebody that I'm interviewing this week that has work experience in a similar position. And so I'm hopeful that that individual is going to work out. But if we can go ahead and get them in before that person retires and get them trained, that's going to be our best scenario. Um, our other quick certifier, she's been here since July, so she's getting close to being here a year, doing a great job. And then our other nutritionist that's here, she'll be here maybe he's been here seven months um so i did check with the WIC department the two employees that are here i was hoping to put one of them as a WIC coordinator but at this point it's probably not the ideal thing to do i can't put one there because they don't qualify and then the other one um, again i'd like to talk about in closed session okay um, so at that point um, i'm still the WIC coordinator i have all the credentials because i had to pick that job up too and so for now, I continue continue to do that to hire somebody kind of reevaluate. So, any <coughs> questions on WIC? No. Okay. No programs overall. So yeah. I uh, moved to appoint a study group consisting of volunteers from the Christian County Health Board that will analyze the current day-to-day -day operations of the health department. Um, the group should gain a detailed knowledge of all aspects of the department, including but not limited to staffing, compensation, budget, and responsibilities of the department. Uh, identify any efficiency to be gained or gaps in the community or mandated services that need to be addressed. The study group will elect one mm -hmm. member to lead and coordinate these efforts and present recommendations to the board within 60 days. Okay, I'm a little confused. Are That's you reading this lot. off of that yes. volunteer? That's a lot. Okay. Yeah. Volunteer application, or are you reading No, it? this is her. Yeah. This oh, I just wrote motion. it out. Oh, good. So yeah. I'm glad you're on the same page with volunteers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Did you see the volunteer application that I sent? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, so, and I haven't read through it again. Oh, where is it? So, oh, she's, I'm excited. <laughs> no, she's talking about volunteers from within the board. Oh. Right. To do this. <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. Let's uh, let me try and pare this motion down a little bit. <laughs> it, do I do I understand correctly that you want a subcommittee mm -hmm. that will address the day to day operations of the health department uh, to identify uh, opportunities for efficiency? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Yes. Okay. So, what, what are you? let me restate that. <laughs> Sorry. So, it wouldn't be volunteers because you're already going to be one of them. <laughs> so, board member. Um, yeah. So, okay. We, need, to we would need another board member to, to join in this uh, to analyze the current day to day operations of the health department and identify opportunities for improving efficiency. Right. Cool. Okay. Does that, it, is that understandable? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you're just looking for a subcommittee, kind of like yeah. you did with the right. and, and I'd be more than happy to appoint Tanya to, 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 to that. that. Anybody else? Uh, if he wants to help. Uh, who, who else wants to be on? You? Okay. Tanya and Kimberly.
Yeah. Tanya, you made a good point there, though. You know, you will need to have pretty free access to the staff, to the right. schedules and stuff. And what this may do is it may make it so you give those reports to these guys. Sure, I'll give my work away. And they'll be, <laughs> they'll be the ones who have to, have to look at this and, and analyze it for sure. the board. Yeah. Well, that may reflect on what Cam and I is doing. Right. Sure. Building needs or anything like that. If yeah. You see a problem or. Well, the two, the two are different topics, but they have the same end. Yeah. So and then it's okay. All righty. Uh, I don't think we need a. We don't need a real motion for that, although we have one. Yeah. Um, I'll second it. I mean, okay. So we. If, if a board's going to act, it takes a motion. Okay. Well, other than appointments by the by the chair. No. <laughs> So, okay, we got a motion on the floor. Any uh, discussion on that? I guess I'm, you'll just let me know when, when I need to do something. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. I'll ask you um, sure. if I need something. And okay. Okay. Will yeah. you guys coordinate something? Yeah. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. It's done. It's unanimous. Cool. So, Tanya will be heading that up. Kimberly will uh, be in, at, intimately involved in it and we will get periodic reports from them uh, definitely at each meeting yeah. if not between meetings cool. okay okay very good thank you yeah <clears throat> i appreciate that and we can move then into admin all right um i just already mentioned the chain of command so again I want to make sure everybody knows that uh, that was sent out so that tells all of our employees in which department that they work in. Um, we talked a little bit about job opening. So we're currently hiring a full-time nurse, um, full-time front desk clerk, which I did interview a couple people for that. And I'm hoping to make a job offer today, but I want to discuss the pay with the board first. <coughs> a full-time contracted billing specialist, which again, I think maybe we can discuss more during the closed session. Yeah. <coughs> um, we're also going to be hiring a full-time WIP certifier, which again, I've got somebody um, interviewing for that one at the end of the week, and then a full-time nutritionist, which I'm interviewing this afternoon. So hopefully we're going to find some good papers. I don't know. <laughs> um, we talked about Patty Smith announcing her retirement as of August 30th, so hopefully we get that new person in the train with her before she leaves. And then we talked about Chelsea's resignation. On May the 3rd, um, Rita Daniels, uh, she provided her resignation to at the front desk. So her last day, I believe, is next Monday, if I remember correctly. And, uh, I did talk to the previous board about um, seeking volunteers to help us with front desk duties as well. And we need like filing just various things throughout the, the building, and such as maybe greeting the clients, answering phones, assisting with paperwork, those kind of things. So. I sent out a volunteer um, application. I have not looked at it. <laughs> that came from Alice Akers and Arnie. Yeah. And so if you all would like to review that, provide me with feedback on is that acceptable, you want to add things, delete things, what have you. Um, so then, is Vicki not doing any? What's she doing? I'm sorry? Vicki can't do it. Vicki's our office coordinator, so she's supervisor as well. Um, she does work at the front desk um, as well. So we have Identigo too, which I don't think you, we had when you were here, which is the fingerprinting. So it stays very busy between vital records, answering phones, scheduling appointments, people being gone, covered for vacations. And so, yeah, she, she picks up multiple jobs as well. <laughs> but, you know, volunteers are free help. I think it's a way to um, get our community members in here as well. So when I hear volunteers, I think, yeah. <laughs> Um, so if you want to look over that and then maybe you can bring that back to the next board meeting and you can let me know um, what you would like to do with that. I can mm -hmm. present your findings or recommendations back to Alice Acres and Arnie for whatever you like. It's kind of like a job description. Um, that's kind of what the previous board did. They would look at those and then they would give us recommendations. I'd send it back to Alice Acres and Arnie. Then I'd bring it back to you and then you all would approve it. So if you want to move forward with volunteers, I think that would be awesome. Any questions? Any concerns? Okay. Uh, I want to go back just real quick to the front desk position. So again, I hope to make a job offer today. 
Um, the individual has had some supervisor experience, has been in um, food service rather than health care, but um, this individual seems interested in maybe driving our mobile unit, <laughs> which has been a big issue with some of our staff. Um, so I think, you know, just throwing out there um, the things that, that we see has been a problem here, people not wanting to multitask. So obviously if somebody's been a supervisor, hopefully they know what it means to multitask, and if you don't multitask, or you don't do your job duties, who picks that up? Um, typically the supervisors. So if maybe I hire somebody that has supervisory experience, maybe they're gonna be willing to jump right in and, and go above and beyond because they do understand um, all of the, the problems. So they need to motivate. <laughs> right. I hope so. I mean, it, from talking to this individual, it seemed like that was the case, but um, so this the pay that we've started the last few, um, Front desk staff at is $15 an hour. Um, however, in January, on January 1st, our board um, approved a 3.2 cost of living raise for all employees, which brought that position up to $15.48 an hour um, for the staff member that was already here since November. So would you like me to offer $15 an hour or $15.48 for this new um, uh, front desk staff member? How many staff uh, front desk staff do we have right now? Yeah, one. 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 And what is her pay rate? 1548. And she was just been here since November. I don't think we should offer less. <laughs> the uh, the yeah. max pay for that position is 1673 an hour. But mm -hmm. with that being said, we are having a pay analysis done in July. May or June. Oh. And, well, it'll be effective July. So in June or <coughs> probably June, the promise acres and RNA will be here to talk to us about our pay skills. And so she didn't know if it's going to go up, down, stay the same. She said Walmart's actually decreasing their starting pay. So she didn't know how that's going to impact us. Oh, wow. Anybody want to make a motion to, to offer her a particular rate? I should offer her 1548 now. I second. All right. You've got to be competitive. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know that that's even competitive. Right. No, right. Yeah. Yeah. But for the benefits yeah. that we offer, and you'll see whenever all the seekers and early comes, the, the amount of benefits that we get with the holidays, the vacation, the sick time, um, insurance rates, those kind of things. I mean, it, they take all of that into perspective whenever they look at our pay analysis. So some people are like, I can't work for that. It's like, but are you paying that $800 for your insurance without the performance paying for you? You know, out of your own pocket. So when you consider things like that and the retirement, it's 100%. Any more discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. Okay. It's unanimous. Yay. 1548 for cool. position. Okay. And we're going to take a brief pause here while one of our members uh, steps out. Yeah, I think you need to sign. Yeah, and then I'll sign there. And then I'll take it to the day. Okay. Um, let me see. It's going to happen. Because the economy is about to crash. Oh, I think we have to go there on the thing on this. Um, Either 16th or 16th. Or the market keeps on yeah. going and then it crashes and then it gets re and, and that's why. And the old well is mm -hmm. Well, I hope you're the person to do that. Hopefully. Have you been in a supervisory no. position? Yeah. I don't think you can pull it around. I can sign that because that that is our. I read this last time. This is looking like our tax ID. Everything that is okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think between you and Kimberly, like great, great potential there. Yes, and this one. Uh, I think that wants to say that they signed these. Yeah, this signature comes in all the So go ahead and sign the official under the code. And I think the rest of it's the older. So yeah, well, it's not the most. Popular place to yeah, no, this one. Um, I think that's the, the legacy of the code. Okay, I'm not sure. I think there was someone here that said that's the wrong thing. 
that was the problem. Yeah, and that's where it's they're taking them off. Um, right, folks. Signature. So I think you're going to want to sign there, Sam. Sign that. Let's see that we're removing the. And if he needs me to sign after I get to him, I'll sign it too. <laughs> when we take a break like this, should we technically pause that or do we just let it? I think we just let it go. Okay. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Okay. That's all. I'll get okay. back to that. And then I'll get back to that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Are we, do we still have other things to address on the admin? Um, I think we've already kind of talked about the uh, billing position. We talked about the practice and stuff. No, I'm done with that. So we'll go to the session. Okay. Okay. As soon as, as, soon yeah. as we get our fifth member back. Hopefully, you didn't get lost. Yeah. <laughs> You want to get the electronic copy? I'm getting all of them. This is what you would get, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then some. <laughs> the binders that uh, we we used to have are so cumbersome. Yeah. So now I'm yes. keeping it in just this, and I'm going to move to this system right here. I'm putting it in here, bringing it with me each month. So All right, we this stuff down here. This was some of the stuff I think maybe there's but with that is that which you know what let's talk about that in the because okay. yeah. I think we've got the inventory that we're gonna talk about this part now. Okay. All righty. We will resume here. Okay. Well, I'll judge well, that's sort of back to life anymore. <laughs> we're going moving into old business. Community uh, survey. Yeah, first issue is the community survey of the uh, Christian County population regarding uh, the services of the health department. It had met a stall uh, because of a uh, somehow crossed wires regarding uh, invoicing and, and billing and paying. And so the uh, survey company had just not done anything and it, uh, that's been resolved. So. You know, we should be able to be moving forward now with that with that survey. Uh, Connor has been uh, shouldering that uh, since was it February when Leah said she. It's when we had our meeting down at the city. Yeah, yeah. I think so. <clears throat> where I so uh, but you know, I think that uh, I, we got all the materials that that Karen sent us uh, about that. I would like also to get another subcommittee going here. And that would be one that's responsible for uh, coming up with the uh, parameters and questions for the survey, not as the final product, but as you know, working on that in a dedicated fashion to bring it back to, to the board. Was that ever, I know Leah was tasked with that before, did anything ever come about? We, because we never saw every meeting she had not done it, but right. we were, yeah. um, did we she paid, ever do anything? Yeah, we paid the initial fee that they asked for, which was half of it, and then Connor um, sent an email with information that I emailed out to the board with where we're at. So at this point, they're wanting the board to come up with the questions. Right, which is yeah, and that's, that's what, what I would want right. people to yeah. do. But Leah had came, she said she had written those questions or she was doing that, but. I don't think she did. Yeah, I, I don't, I never saw a product. Right. So this is what you're referring to, isn't it? It is, Here. yes. Okay. Well, you know, two, the two most, but the two people I would like to make, recommend are, are Kathy Adams and, and if you'll do it, you've already picked up a couple others, Kim yeah. Foster, uh, to come up with, uh, Questions for the questionnaire, okay. and of course, uh, you know, I'll be glad to be involved in that as well. But rather than have a quorum, 
get together and meet and have to keep minutes and stuff, you guys can work on it and then we can interact as a board. You guys are good with that? <laughs> All righty. Uh, inventory for uh, anything else on that particular issue then? Inventory uh, for Church Street storage items. Yeah, so I did email that out, and Ken, I saw you responded to that. So I'm a bit hesitant, and I think Ken might be too, <laughs> trying to get rid of most things that were paid for through a grant. Um, we both got into a not-so-fun situation whenever our emergency response radio was given away to um, emergency response. And Kim and I, neither one knew that. And so I got a call from the state whenever I was here a couple months into my... Um, the job and your tenure yeah and i the state said hey you do have an emergency response radio that's been reported oh, yeah um somebody's passing, trying to passing, reactivate it, it and reprogram it and so anyway come to find out it was emergency response nobody stole it um the previous administrator gave it away um to them prior to leaving and obviously didn't know that she could not do that um but the cables and everything that were for that, the cables and the oh. antenna were in a vehicle that were sold at a silent auction to, I believe, her husband. And so it was a big mess and it cost our department about $2,500 we've um, to get cables and an antenna to get this radio back up and functioning that was not supposed to leave the building. Well, <laughs> and so I, I'm as, hesitant. <laughs> as I look at this, this list here, <clears throat> I thought I sent this to everybody, but I had a couple of people say they could not see could my see highlight. Uh, I couldn't either. Yeah. So now you can see the highlighting there. It just seems to me that some of the ones in yellow are ones that uh, uh, we could probably get rid get rid of, or at least dispose of a large portion of them. Mm -hmm. We're trying to sell the chiller and the snowblower, which again is another, I think that might be on the edge. <laughs> yeah. Too. Um, okay. That's been a task. Another item. Yeah. As far as the like, contact tracer headsets, those were paid for out of the CARES Act money. And again, I don't really know the the exact rules on that. Do you, Kim? The, rules, the, um, the CARES Act money for those contract tracer headsets that were used. Oh, those would be disposable. Calls. Yeah. Um, okay. So we could, um, do we want to? Sell those, donate those. We could probably donate them to school, maybe. Yeah. Would that would that be acceptable? What What do they do? I mean, it's just a headset, headset for where the you telephone. Be like on your computer and then oh. on the phone with somebody. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that they didn't have to pick up the phone. I mean, they could be typing as they're talking and it, it have like a microphone on it. So, I mean, if schools would take it, I mean, I think that might be a good option to donate those. So what do you got? Any there? place, library, the senior center, the library. Okay. And that Canon map printer, I don't know if that's leased or if it was bought. Well, yeah. Okay. I mean, they had a problem here in anything. That they want to be in the environmental? Yeah, it's across the street. I don't know. So I don't know if it was leased or bought. They, they as I understand from Vicki Owen, they were leased, but the lease a contract ran out. And, and the contract was based upon buying new toner and, and supplies. Now that would be the printer. That's the copiers. big one. The big one. The yeah. one that does the maps. Yes. Oh, the great big one. I'm the sorry. great big one. <laughs> I've never received a bill or paid anything, so I have to think we don't know anything. <laughs> it has barely been used. We're, we were trying to map septic systems versus water testing to kind of mm -hmm. see if there was a correlation. Plus, with, you know, stuff like that, so... It's not been used since I've been here that I'm aware of, so. Could it be used is the, is the question. I don't want to get rid of anything that. I don't know that there's that we're, right? We just don't have the expertise in order right. to utilize. <laughs> yeah. So what, yeah. can you tell us can what expertise does it take to utilize that and how is it useful? So we're set up with, with uh, <clears throat> this assessor over there. So we had a, a camp with them. So our own little one, so you can plug in stuff, and then it was a <coughs> computer, and you can print map. Did you use it? I did, but then COVID happened, and then I didn't get to use it. But, so, but we're mapping water tests in correlation with septic systems. See, there's correlation, because there was a, a neighborhood between Ozark, Sparta, that had 
cluster of positive E. coli samples. So we're mm -hmm. trying to put together what septic systems were there, how old were they, were they permitted. So that's what that printer was for. Is that something you can help our new staff with? Because I know they don't have any knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And which, which item is that? That's the Canon map yeah. poster printer. About halfway down. Oh, okay. If, if you think it's beneficial, I mean, yeah, we probably should be using it. But again, we want to have somebody here to train on how to use it and what do you want it used for. Well, and it also, so uh, during <clears throat> the Joplin tornado, the health department there had a big printer and had all the locations of all of the restaurants. And they put it on a big map and put sections of where everybody was going to go. So it was very beneficial in that regard. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll say let's keep hang on to it until we do a better assessment of it. These are just suggestions. Yeah. Uh, those running <laughs> tours, again, depends on what we're going to do next door with that property because those are nice office chairs that were bought um, for contact tracing with our tables. So if we ever need extra workspaces or um, mini emergency response, that's really what those were bought for. And so, again, if, if we're keeping the building, we might want to consider to keep them for just a bit. And if not, then get rid of them because obviously we don't have anywhere to store those. But what if we just got rid of half of them? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have enough whenever we, we really needed them. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Again, I, I'll have to find out. Um, I'm assuming, Ken, do you think that's a dispensable item? Is that what that would be? The called? chairs. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, they'll break. Yeah, the brand. I mean, I said brand new. I mean, they've been. They have been used. Which ones? Are, which, mm -hmm. which ones were they? The ones that the contact tracer sat at. Oh. The nurses, whenever they gave um, shots over mm -hmm. there, um, and those black tables, they were all for. I mean, they are very useful during the time. Um, and I think again, if we're using it as an emergency response building um, in case something else happens, whether it be a tornado or whatever, and we need to set people up over there. I mean, we would have. The stuff that we need because we didn't have the stuff that we needed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, are there any other items on here that that you all have a problem with getting rid of right off the bat that we can say? What was the blue? What's store? the difference in the blue? The blue okay. was that a the blue color in the keep or what yeah? Was I was trying to remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was yeah, in the those email. Also blow up man fans. So, well, it and those goes probably with the blow up <laughs> man. man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I seen that all. Those are in use, and that's what was price, uh, purchased, Kim, uh, through that co ad contract. Those are those blow up things to draw attention and, and to help people go where. Oh. And so we do still use those, and I think we're, we're wanting to use those with our mobile unit to draw attention. Hey, <laughs> look, it's the mobile unit. <laughs> and so, again, those were things that were purchased with the contract that I have not even gotten reimbursed. For you, so I really has to get rid of that. Stuff. Well, it, it, <laughs> and we do want to use it now that you have a, a copy with yeah. with what I thought we could maybe get rid of. We're uh, working on getting rid of the yard tiller. Which yeah. ones were you wanting to get rid of? Again? What is the blue? What are the colors? Um, everything except oh, some of them. Okay. I thought we could sell others. We thought I thought we might donate. donate. So the mosquito traps belong to the state. Mm -hmm. So I need to sell. To yeah. Who would stay my top two? It'll be environmental. Okay. Like the vector control, the vector. Okay. Um, where's that on this list? Well, now that's a rack. It's not the mos mosquito traps themselves. Mosquito boxes. Where's where's that at? Oh, yeah. Um, blue. It's in the blue. Bottom of the north. So vector uh, control. Isn't that just a six point five four tier rack? I have no idea. I, it just says 6.5 foot, yeah. four tier like, rack yeah. fed mosquito boxes. So. Right above it, it says a uh, 6.5 four tier rack wick. wick, and then the next one is mosquito boxes. So, they, so they're probably just racks for storing wick stuff mm -hmm. and storing. Um, so there's probably mosquito boxes. I haven't been over there lately. Uh, mosquito boxes on that um, okay. rack. So it's a fat rack, is what it is, which. Those are nice racks. The, oh, yeah. if, we're, if we're going to keep that oven for storage, I think we want to keep the racks. Mm -hmm. Now, the mosquito boxes, I think we can probably send those back because I'm not sure 
we're going to be into. Well, my major concern was that, that what we'd asked for at the last meeting was uh, an inventory of what it has to be kept, mm -hmm. what can be disposed of, and what is totally useless. And the the inventory doesn't show that. Mm -hmm. So these are just my assessments, not an insider's idea. Well, I think <clears throat> once we finally look at the actual physical plant and see if it's stacked up all over, uh, you know, I think that'll help us decide, can we hold yeah, on to this? Or, totally. Yeah, or, we can go ahead and we need to have a spring cleaning. <laughs> and, and, oh, trust me, we have. You're going to be amazed at what that looks like over there. You know, oh, I bet. <laughs> so, and so part of that is even this, because I mean, these are, I think, fat bones. But yes, have, they are. So I had Vicky look, and it's like if we want to keep those and use them, I think you have to pay a fifty dollar a month fee um, to even activate them. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a waste of money because I, I've never used them since I've been here. I don't know, but what are your thoughts? Oh. <laughs> um, the reason behind that was based on the Joplin tornado. All systems were down, so satellite phones could be used yeah. in case of that. So, which is what our emergency response radio across the streets for, but that's only to communicate with the Department right. of Health. So that's correct. This would communicate with other people. Yes. Um, so, is it something we want to keep and not activate, and keep around in case we need it, and then maybe activate it, or I think keep. So. Just in case, <laughs> it's they're like, they're like twelve hundred dollars a piece. Okay. Yeah, it's for consideration. Right. Uh, you know, this is not. A, we're not going to make a final disposition today. <laughs> and, and I doubt you could get that much money out of these if you just sold them. Right. Uh, okay. So keep for now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I said, and that's those blow up man fans um again we had they were in use so again we would like to keep those even though they're in blue <laughs> we're hoping to draw attention to our services and the mobile unit um again i haven't even been reversed for those just yet so i'm not sure about how that auditing process is going to work uh, mission statement discussion um, i'd like i'd like to recommend that we do we defer that one also, but again, I'd like to suggest that we appoint two people to uh, Ken and Kathy to uh, come up with a mission statement, and we'll certainly take in input from anybody else, but, you know, subcommittee to review the current mission statement and come up with a revision if necessary. Yeah, I'll give you plenty of examples. I think it was every you did. Yeah, it's all yeah. garbage. So yeah. Yeah. Really? I'll try for the other one. one. <laughs> There's one I need, and I can't find it in my stack up here. Well, I'm deferring it anyway. You can find it later. All right. <laughs> uh, let me see. What about the uh, items donated, sold? Yeah. So okay, we got the floor box are posted for free in the Christian Kitty Headliner. I think it'll go out tomorrow. It's tomorrow's Wednesday. The tiller, it was going to cost us, I think Connor told me, $30 to advertise for our $50 thing. So we did not put that in there. I wanted to ask you, what would you like to do with that? Um, Snuff Bar, we went ahead and advertised. It's $24 for two weeks, and it was for $500. Uh, we don't have a marketplace account at the health department. We can't get one, is my understanding, because we're a business. So unless one of the board members would like to post that on your own and um, try to sell it for free or... We didn't have anybody that wanted those items for the price to, <laughs> that we have them posted for or free for the floor wax or as far as the well, people that... Who, who, who has a Marketplace account? Yeah. It's, it's, who's it's, account? You if you're on, you, on Facebook, on Facebook do you, you do it. Have you done it before? Yes. And Or Craigslist or any of them. Yeah, I, I have pictures I can send. Yeah, if, if somebody like would just it put it on theirs and say, contact the health department, this is mm -hmm. available for sale. Or for or free. Or for giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to look at it. <laughs> okay. That would be awesome. Well, you can look at it after this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Um, all right. Okay, so we have disposed of anything? None of those have been... They're still sitting there. No, okay. we're trying really hard. So the, the um, snowblower no, and the time floor wax are going to be in paper. Yeah. <laughs> right. We had no snow this year. It's been a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, so Connor, he helped me get those on a, in the paper. So, so. But the tiller is not. So yeah, if you, you want to yeah. help get that tiller off our hands, then awesome. Uh, this bore waxer is it operational? Yeah. Yeah, it is. We yeah. just don't need it here. Cool. Yeah. We're nursing, tried. nursing home. Yeah. Uh, Already um, tried. Most people have no wax floors anymore. Yeah, the people that came and got our furniture for free, we've asked all of them, which was schools, um, senior center, cities, city halls, um, senior, I think senior, she said the senior center she contacted, Island Bill, we, we gave them some furniture at the city hall as well. Traffic um, school, Sparta school, Spokane. Mm, well, <laughs> we've, tried. we've tried really hard. Uh, been trying for two months at least. At least. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so if you have any ideas, please let us know. Pretty soon we just need to dispose of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean we're giving it away for free, but would... nobody wants it. Right. Can you scrap it? I've had one in my, yeah, they're heavy. I know. I used to use one in the Army. Years, I mean, <laughs> and they're so heavy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, are we, I guess we can move on into the in kind. I got that. I read the letter from the from the auditor there. You know, they they don't see a, a way to to record that. I'd like to meet with the auditor and, sure. and see if I could discuss that idea a little bit closer. And, okay. And if it's okay, fine. Yeah. Do you want me to um, give her your phone number, please? Okay. Maybe me her phone number so I sure. know that it's not a prank call. Yeah. Yeah. I could do that. Um, how about I just connect you both on an email? Sounds that work? <laughs> perfect. Okay. Uh, the, my, my suggestion was that we capture in-kind donations, such as when one of us or a volunteer member from the community does work here, mm -hmm. that we get some kind of recognition that we're involving the community and, and saving a lot of money. So. Uh, next item is intern information. Yes, I emailed that out to you. I think you asked the last board meeting for that information. So mm -hmm. I actually have um, one individual interested in being an intern here through the Missouri State Master's in Public Health Program. I have not contacted him to confirm that just yet because I didn't know if you had other questions or I, I already signed the contract with the state thinking that it's okay. So, yeah. or in Missouri State, should I say? Yeah, I think we, I mean, we, we approved to go forward with it. Uh, the question is, you know, does it does the current board have any questions regarding what this internship program is, or did did you get the gist of it from the? Internship? I used to have interns all the time down in Tank County. And this yeah. is what I want this one to help us with is the mobile unit. I think if they'll work with Connor, um, and hopefully our part time nurses or as needed nurses, if we can get them um, away from the nursing department, um, what they're doing now. Once we get that new full time person over there then maybe they can form a subcommittee <laughs> and help us figure out how are we going to get this out, out into the public. We've got to have enough workers to do it. Um, we've got to make sure we're offering services on a consistent basis. So I think maybe that person can help us. Well, and I think what Tanya mm -hmm. is watching is, is going to see where we could utilize right. uh, volunteers and where we could utilize also the interns. So Yeah, very good. What well, was it? The last meeting, <laughs> somewhere or another, I've got in my head that some of the ladies didn't like driving the van. Yes. <laughs> they were a little intimidated by it or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's not anything you have to have a CDL for, is it? No. 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 Uh, we have some that don't even want to drive our pickups um, yeah. that we got or, or the vehicles just because they're different than what they're used to. Some of them drive very small cars. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure Ron would still offer. I got her to, to drive it. I, uh, but yeah. Ron has, and I'm sure Ron would still Ron's be Ron's still than available to volunteer. Yeah, we we've got the thing. We've got thing. Yeah, use it as community outreach. And, I agree. You know, where yes. people, you know, they're visible. You. Yes. Yeah. So if you all can help us, yeah, that happen, that would be awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> That's great. Right. Perfect. So uh, we're. We don't read, don't need a motion on that. We just need to go ahead and, and see what yeah. Karen comes up with as far as as far as these uh, interns. Yeah. So. 
I mean, I can get more than one, I'm assuming. Right now, there's only been one, but I can reach out to Missouri State. because well, I have that other one that, one that we, right after our meeting, somebody reached out and said that they had heard that we were doing this. And I, I don't know the person. I've never heard of the person. I, but yeah. I just um, forwarded yeah. it to Karen. Just, and I think strange. Mm -hmm. It is, but I don't know. I know they have to be a Missouri State University intern, is my understanding, to get paid. Right. They're getting paid $20 yeah, an hour. $20 yeah, $20 an hour. Yeah, yeah, which is good. Yeah. Yes. Excuse them. Bring them in. Absolutely. And I don't have to do payroll. <laughs> so, okay, next item is the Employee Handbook Political Activity Policy. Uh, it, uh, it did not appear to stand up to scrutiny, uh, constitutional scrutiny. And uh, uh, I haven't seen anything back from did Alice? Yeah, she said that there was no red flags, so there wasn't anything that she felt needed to be removed. Um, and it's not uncommon the way it's worded for a governmental agency. But she said as a board, um, whatever you all would like to do with that, if you want to uh, draft up something different, um, they won't look at it, but they would recommend that we send it to our attorney um, mm -hmm. to give their opinion. And then once it's approved by the attorney, we can send it back to them and they'll put it in our Great. meetings. Okay. Well, Steve, would you work with me on that? Yeah. Uh, the employee handbook. Well, and one thing Ken and I were talking about, uh, he and I are pretty politically active. I mean, uh, and it could be <coughs> that... Uh, we might need to post the MRA Central Committee. I mean, they may be turned more of us at some of those things. So it might need to be posted that hey, tear more on the, the website. The oh, we're we're Sunshine Law. Yeah, Sunshine Law issue that if uh, uh -huh. three or more of the board members are at a, a sure. given a activity, we were going to get in touch with you or to Connor yeah. and say, please post this on our website that three or more. Uh, I would prefer you. Well, I mean, you can send it to me and then I'll send it to Connor or if you yes. want to send him directly, it doesn't but, matter. But, but you'll be the say, one putting it on there. But. You know, that we may be, there may be more than yeah. two at that so that we don't mm -hmm. see it. Have the, the county commission appearance of yeah. impropriety. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, if you all come spy, come spy. We interrupt <laughs> all this. Okay, well, Steve, you and I are the fifth subcommittee. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, goodness. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we're to new business. Okay. That, I sent out the bylaws, and again, that's kind of the same uh -huh. thing. It's um, up to the board to decide what you want. So um, it's for you to change, you to let me know what you would like. So okay. If you want another subcommittee, probably. <laughs> we will. We will. I think. Um, have any hot to trot uh, volunteers <laughs> for uh, re revising and or reviewing and revising the bylaws? I think I'll that's Steve. I was going to say. I think you too. <laughs> Steve and Tanya then. Bylaws are fun. Would you put her in charge? <laughs> no, she's going to be in charge. Anyway. I'm in charge of the other one. No, yeah. in <laughs> charge. Steve. Yeah. Okay. Your, your name's no, 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 I'll be a figurehead. All right. Uh, but but we need for you guys to be uh, once you come up with something or we have a, have recommendations. I think that'll be another need for a special right. meeting. And and we'll please as soon as you have something, uh, let me know so that we can start fishing for days. Well, is there anything that anybody's got a problem with right off the bat? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll give you what I have a problem with. Okay. <clears throat> I, uh, I'll share it with you. Okay. I mean, it's a document. I've, I've already got several sets of bylaws that <laughs> I've heard of. Got one more. That's good. <laughs> okay, special. moving on. State contracts discussion. I, I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, again, I just kind of need to know the direction of the board. Do you want me to continue with the contracts that we um, discussed for financials for earlier? Um, some of them are still in force. <laughs> we were moving forward with them at the moment. Some still have another year or two, but how would you like to approach that? Do you want to have a strategic planning meeting to maybe discuss? 
the contracts or but if we've already signed on to these contracts even if it was a previous board are they not still in force and through, um, through the term of the contract yeah some of them will be um, I mean <coughs> they don't have to be it's really up to the board to decide if you want to continue to move forward with those and so I'm trying to think we'll have some coming up in June like the fab contract it'll start July 1st so I mean I need to know pretty quick um, would you like to move forward with the fab contract starting July because it will be a new oh dear contract okay period. so fab is July yeah, July like June. First. Yeah, it ends June thirtieth. Okay. And then, like core, that's all. It said automatic money, but again, it's kind of up to you. That one ends May thirty first. Oh goodness. Okay. And so, if is, you want, I is can. Is there a reason we would not continue with the contracts? I can't think of any. I can't. Think of any. I bet, reason but not to, yeah. Not now that it's continue. been brought up, I would yeah. like to. I would. Consider why why would we not continue with right. that saving taxpayer money and using contracts? So right. the the one that expires the first is in in May. May thirtieth. Um, that's, that's that's the, the core contract. Yeah, and I can email that out to everybody so you can see what it is. Didn't and you already? I well, I did, but not to the this this board. I've emailed them to the previous board members. No, oh, okay. Like the actual contract, so you can read yeah. it and see what I, it is. Is that okay? Is it has it changed? No. Don't send it to me again. I've got yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. With the new board members, like need yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Is that is it that one right there? Um. Yeah. Some oh. of them are, no. but the That's whole document fun. is is like seventy two pages yeah. on yeah. some of them and thirty five on others, and and it's just repetitive it legal is. nonsense. Is there like strings attached to it that we need to be concerned about? Or? I, I'd have to look again. And you maybe. still have yours though, right? Or I have mine. Okay, so I can send the core and the FEP out to at least the new, new members. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, it's, I suggest that. Since that's going to be the initial two, and then we'll know hopefully here soon um, what you would like to do with that. Um, what else here? Because we have some that are non renewable, and those. Yeah, like COA are going to be renewed. Um, the others are not until like the end of September, first of October. Yeah, so I think if you'll look at least at those two initially, that will be good going. Okay. Um, I do have Callie and Shelby working on to oversee our FAP contract at the moment. And so Callie did put together a nice report that was emailed out. I think that was yesterday as well. We haven't had time to look at that, so just please look over it. I think Kim had asked for more information on what we were doing with that, so Kelly spelled it out really nice for us. I don't know if you've seen that or not, but um, it's a very time consuming contract and kind of tedious for paperwork. Do you agree, Kim? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, so, but it does pay for some salaries, so I mean, if, if we can get the money out of that instead of taxpayer money, that's beneficial. Again, I do think we want to be careful and not spend a lot in supplies that we're putting across the street that we're just gonna have to get rid of. Um, but if you can use it for salaries, I think it's beneficial. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, that's it on the state contracts that I have, I believe. Okay, staff questions? Um, there was one document in the board box this morning and I made copies and handed that to all of the, the board members. It was from Rita Daniels. Oh, okay. And so I don't know what you wanna do with that. Bit. Oh, I'd like to respond to her. Okay. But uh, we'll, we'll take that under advisement. We'll, we'll read it. Okay. Um, let's let's board member questions and discussions. So, I just want to remind everybody about the virtual board member training with Department of Health, April 23rd from 5 30 to 7, which we're going to meet now at 4 30 here. And then it hopefully will end at 7 instead of 7 30, but please plan on 7 30 just to be on the safe side. And then um, we'll try to get that here in the conference room. I'll have Connor help us before he leaves for the day. Make sure we can get set up there. I wonder why they've done so late the day. To me, 5 30 is late, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 5 30 would be my favorite. Yeah. Kids there have sports stuff. So, I mean, the boards, if you want to change it, you're welcome to do that. I just need to know let's stay now. Oh. Matter. 
I thought it was fixed. I, I didn't see that there was any I way of changing that's, that's what she offered. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to do whatever you want to do for. Please <laughs> recommend. If, if you want to delay it for. If, yeah, if we could do it earlier, I could. <laughs> yeah, we do. I, I agree. So, like earlier that day, or you're just wanting to do it like during the daytime hours? Yeah. Daytime, daytime hours. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Does it matter which day? Because I don't know if she'll be able to do it this. So, the day 23rd, I have open except for the evening. <laughs> okay. So, does it matter what time during the day? Not to me. Okay, and we're still meeting though at four thirty. Or we could move. We could move it up. We could move it up and have it end at four thirty. We'll have to let Tim know if he's going to the architect. Yeah. Well, you all figure out what you're going to do, and then let me know because why are too many <laughs> dates, times? I get confused. Mm -hmm. What if we do two to four thirty? We are here at two. I'll have to make sure that. She's yeah. available. I don't know that she will be, but that's the time she provides. So two to four thirty, I can ask for. Well, no, two is when we can meet oh. and look at everything and have that because I think it's originally from five thirty to seven. Five thirty to seven. So that's an hour and a half. So three to four thirty would be the WebEx. So I can ask there for three to four thirty. Would that work? I'm I fine need to me. look. Tuesday during the day could be bad for me, but any other day during the week might yeah. be okay. Yeah, doesn't matter to me. Any, but any day but Tuesday? Yes, any day but Tuesday. Yeah, I can do Wednesday. Yeah. Can we ask for Wednesday? A Wednesday? Okay. Okay, I can ask. Yeah, and I'll send it out. And so, what are we going to do again about what time are we moving the <laughs> tour to? Well, we could either do it before or after, depending on what time it is. Right. Let's say before. Either yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure how soon she's going to be able to reschedule this because yeah, I it's a couple months. So. I'm good with Tuesday <laughs> evening. <laughs> yeah. So, so I don't mind to ask. Um, so let me. Yeah. That's that's my starting point. Let me yeah. ask and see. Hey, yes. what's the next Wednesday? So, if she can't do it that, like, is that next Wednesday? Yes. So if she can't do it next Wednesday. Tell me again. When are we doing the walk through? If she can't. Are we it? just going to keep Tuesday if we can't do we Wednesday? Do, well, why don't we do the walk? We could do the walk through at four thirty, still on when on Tuesday, and then see if she can reschedule the webinar. Doesn't matter to me here. You tell me what you'd like to do. I don't care. <laughs> I'm flexible. Tuesday and Wednesday are open for me. Uh, I left Tuesday open because of this, and Wednesday just happens to be an easy day for me. So, uh, honestly, as the board, if you if you want to walk around the building today before you leave as a group, you know, why don't we just do that? Yeah. <laughs> that might save then, you a trip. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, good. Yeah. Problem solved. I took PTO to be here. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so if we'll you... do the tour today. <laughs> reschedule the. Uh, we'll reschedule the training. In daytime and not a Tuesday, but a Wednesday. Not Wednesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can do that. And we'll. Do you still want to meet here for that, or do you still want to do it from home? Because it's going to be virtual. And so it's well, Steve. Be. Steve can't do it. Yeah, yeah. It. He can use the phone. I, I verified it with her. So she said it's going to be that board book that I gave. Yeah. So it's totally up to him. If I mean, he's just going to be following on that anyway. But it's. I mean, if we. I don't really need to see anybody. I mean, we do vetting committee meetings all the time over the phone. So. Okay. It's up to you all. I don't care. <laughs> we can still do this for a bit. Like individual, like from your house? Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. on Tuesday, though. Oh, in the evening. I yeah, just can't that's do the Tuesday problem. evening. Yeah, so. She did suggest that everybody redo it. So right. I said, if that doesn't work for you, then would you like to need it? Still ask for another day? <laughs> Let's ask for a different day. Okay. Wednesday. During the day. Yeah. Thursday. Wednesday during the day. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. Okay. Towards the day. 
I mean, training. Yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> he says, I'm <laughs> done yeah. writing. Change <laughs> Okay. Scratch. Training to be determined. If I don't make myself notes, then I'm good. You need a smartphone. Mm -hmm. I do want to I got one, but you got to be just as smart as it, do you? <laughs> I agree. I need to go back to the flip phone. <laughs> Okay. Unfortunately, some of you do not have the new um, board members do not have your um, business cards because they were not printed yet. But we're still working on that, so I promise you'll get. It. You do have your name badge or yes. your nameplate. So, and I'm assuming Ken, I will move you up to the front. Um, no, is that okay? And then Ken will move mm -hmm. you over here. Is that okay? Go for the next meeting. All right. Great. Okay. Um, and then, who here has taken their picture um, for our board? So I. I'm, I'm scheduled you. today. Okay. Very good. Um, I still got a schedule. If you would please do that really quick. Um, we'll have to take the pictures out of the picture frame on the foyer area um, today, so we don't want those to be blank. So if you'll please go get your picture taken. She does a nice job. She um, does. Yeah, she'll do fantastic. She's pretty quick. But don't pay her anything because we'll pay for that for the health department. So but she does a wonderful job. Just need you to please schedule that with her. Good. Well, I'm glad you're going. Are you going to have time for the tour? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's very good. All right. Um, that's all that Let's I see, have. No for... more business. I'm going to adjourn the regular Correct. session. Correct. So then we have a closed session. So, so does anybody need a uh, Does anybody need a brief break? Mm -hmm.